Hi guys, welcome to another hill climb with me, Velo Hill Hunter. In this video, we'll be visiting Hambledon near Henley on Thames in Buckinghamshire to climb the hill on Dudley Lane. Dudley Lane has no real history to speak about, so for this video, there is no history lesson. Now, onto comms. King of the mountain is Rory Townsend, who has held the top for just over a year with a time of 4 minutes 36 seconds and an average speed of 14.8 mile an hour. And the queen of the mountain is Emma Grant, who has held the top for just over three years at a time of 6 minutes 27, averaging 10.6 miles an hour. Great times, kudos to you both. Dudley Lane is 1.15 miles long, 395 feet of elevation, average gradient of 6% and a max of 18. Before we head off to Dudley Lane, please smash a like on this video and hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so you know my videos are coming out. Also, follow me on Instagram at velo underscore hill underscore hunter. Now, let's head over to Hamilton and the start of Dudley Lane. So at the bottom of Dudley Lane, now the hill starts there, so that's where the hill starts. The comm doesn't start there though. The comm will start about 30 yards up the road, but if I was you, I'd get, if you want to go for the comm, I'd get some power along this road, power into the road, and then just head up. Comm finishes at the top. You can tell where it stops because the hill basically stops and starts to go downhill slightly. I'll just tell you where it is anyway. but. Okay, it's been a while, let's do this. Okay then. So, Dudley Lane. In a very picturesque part of the world in Berkshire. So this started off, it's a very windy day today. So I'm gonna have to shout up a bit so you can hear me. It is quite a windy day. So you may have noticed I've not really been posting a lot of videos just recently. And the reason for that is that I've had a career change, which involves me being on uh, being on call at the weekends. So it's quite hard getting the time to do this at the moment. So we're hitting around 13 percent. Very windy today, a bit chilly, very windy. Okay, the road surface, very gravelly in the middle. The outside, the rest isn't too bad. Just very gravelly in the middle of the road. Okay, mid-teens now on the gradient. The views aren't great, you can't really see anything. Woods to the left, bush to the right. But I'm sure it's quite good from behind me. I haven't done eels for a while. Blimey. Have a 
I'll be on me later, I'll go through. For quite low, but well, that won't be on me. Jeez. Okay, I've centred a bit which is in the forest. Oh, pretty big. <coughs> Gradient's gone down to around sort of mid single figures. Broken surface is still okay. I would imagine descending this would be a little bit sketchy, being that the road's really narrow and you can't really see where you're going, going around corners. And you can't go in the middle because there's a gravel in the middle, a bit further down. A nice climb though. Back to mid double figures. And the lamb over in front of me, for God's sake. That's why it's a car park up here. Obviously for ramblers and walkers and maybe mountain bikers, I don't know. Oh, ah, and there's a vineyard, so. Obviously a bit of a tourist attraction for the sort of people in there. Oh this is this is flattened off a mat amazingly. Six percent. Even less. Wow. This can't be it surely. Had a gravel to turn to the middle of the road, but there's no potholes. Again, well, still climbing, but it's a grind now, it's not really climbing, it's just grinding.
starting to hit him for the wind now as well, which is good. Lane is a narrow lane with a half decent road surface if you excuse the gravel that collects in the middle of the road. If you're descending, then extreme caution is advised as this is due to the narrow lane there isn't much room for manoeuvres to avoid uncommon cars. Upon starting a climb, the gradient will gradually climb and within about 100 metres you'll be hitting the max of 18%. All the steep bits of this hill are in the first half. The second half of this climb, it's really a walk in the park. As soon as you reach the car park on the left and the vineyard on the right, you will know that your main climbing is all but done. I haven't done a lot of cycling these last few weeks due to the work commitment, so this probably felt a lot more difficult than it really should have. The fact that this hill was a decent length, but only around half of it is steepish climbing, and the other half, with 3 or 4% max, knocked difficulty down considerably and would affect the difficulty score. So, Dudley Hill scores 3 out of 10 for difficulty. However, it's a pleasant climb and an enjoyable one, even if it's a lot busier with cars than you would probably think. I will hopefully get back out to the hills next week as long as I'm not on call. So I hope you can join me. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and help me grow it. And follow me on Instagram. Thanks for watching.